Hi, this is Victor Gaum with Confluent, and welcome to this course, Explore Confluent Cloud with Spring Boot and Spring Kafka. In this short introduction video, I will tell you what you should expect from this course, what you will learn, and what kind of prerequisites you need to have in order to attend this. So let's get to it. I will explain how you can set up a Spring Boot project and connect the Spring Boot project to Confluent Cloud. You will see how you can set up a cluster in Confluent Cloud and what kind of configuration you need to uh, get into your application um, and to your project in order this to work. Next, I will demonstrate uh, what API you need to use uh, in order to send the messages to Kafka Topic. Specifically, we're going to talk about Kafka template, and after that, there would be short exercise video where I will walk you through the process. Once you learn how you can publish messages, you probably want to learn how you can receive those. In the next uh, module, I will show you how you can use this uh, API called uh, Kafka Listener. Essentially, it's an annotation and um, uh, approach to uh, message-driven bins that uh, Spring embraces and how you can use this in your Kafka applications. After the small theoretical part, I will break this down and uh, walk you through the process of how you can write the code that will receive those messages from Confluent Cloud. Confluent Cloud provides a very nice uh, UI that allows you to manage your Kafka topics, but in many cases, you want to be able to uh, create those topics programmatically. In the next section, I will explain how you can use uh, Topic Builder and uh, Kafka Spring Kafka facilities to create those topics programmatically. As always, there would be a little bit of theoretical part and there would be a walkthrough a video where you learn how you can uh, code this. After that, I will show you how we can set up a small project with Spring Boot, uh, Spring Kafka that uses Kafka Stream Stream Processing Library, how you can instantiate and how uh, Spring Kafka helps to manage life cycle of this application. After a small uh, theoretical part, I will walk you through the code, I will show you what's the key features, we will demonstrate how you connect your application to Confluent Cloud. In the last module, I will show you a project called Spring Cloud Stream and how it can integrate with Kafka. Uh, it uh, introduces some of the interesting concepts like a functional style of programming. So essentially, you will learn how you can write function as a service that either will produce a message to Kafka topic or consume message from Kafka topic or even um, use uh, Kafka streams to pro process those messages. After the theoretical part, they'll as always, will be a walk through the video where I will show you how you can spin up your project, connect this on cloud, and what you need to know and what kind of API you need to use in order to uh, use this library. In order to participate in all these walkthroughs, uh, you only need to have Confluent Cloud account, and in this case, you will be able to create the serverless Kafka. And uh, you need to have uh, your favorite ID handy uh, and have a Java installed. Uh, rest of the things I will walk you through in uh, corresponding modules, and you will learn how we can do this. I will be using my IntelliJ idea. However, you can use whatever idea of choice um, you prefer. So let's get to it.